Plan out. Heading over to Eiffel Tower. Let's get into it. Who have I got up first? All right, Colin. He's a uh, level 46. What else do we know about Colin? Average is 114. And his last 10 game average has been 121. I think I got you covered. <laughs> Using the Crux Prime here. Let's see, let's see, let's see if you've got a spare in you to start the day. Oh, oh, he's off to a slow start. Uh, this is it. Oh, he almost made it. I feel like this is how I'm going to start the day, so. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just ace it. <laughs> So tired. I had a really late night last night. I had uh, um, a bit of a practice session and then I came back. I did some work on my computer and before I knew it, it was, you know, well after one o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> get up early tomorrow. And I'm not a morning person. I'm just not. I, I wish I were. It would be a lot easier. You know, interestingly, one of the other things that I hate about not being a morning person Meanwhile, Colin is, he's really struggling. This early, oh, there it is. There's the morning shot. There it is, the one out the window. I can make this one though. I'll make this, yeah. Um, so on the PBA tour, we will we will sometimes start our, our tournament at eight o'clock in the morning. So, you know, you're up really early, you gotta get breakfast and, um, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it, but the, the funny thing is, I, I bowl my best, I think, the earlier in the day. So it really fries me out because I have the choice of, you know, sleeping in, waking up a little happier and, uh, and, and getting a little bit more sleep or bowling worse. <laughs> uh, maybe. Hook a lot. Ball. I'm using the Axiom because, well, we're playing a, you know, four-day Axiom Super Challenge. But in real life, I would probably use it too. It is an amazing ball. Such a great ball. Really, really controlled. Um, you would have seen, actually, on my Facebook, I have a post where I went live and I was uh, practicing. And I was using this ball and I was also using Trend. And you could see exactly what I was talking about, that smooth rolling shape. I probably need to move here in a second. Oh! Daddy spent, daddy spent. Mark it with a line across. I'm going to try and get right from the top of the screen. And we mark it across. And then we color it in. Color it in, because that's a spare. And he's probably thinking that was my chance to get back into the game. Nope. Colin's really, really hurting here. Colin, uh, move and change ball and do something and make your space. There you go. That's my advice to Colin today. Well, I'm going to move too because the last one, oh, that's a bad shot. Hold, hold. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can take a nine spare. I can take a nine spare. No problem. No problem at all. Ah, oh dear. Let's see if I can't get lined up. I feel like whilst Colin may not be uh, lined up, the next guy's going to be. Oh, here we go. Oh, he has. He's changed ball. He's done something different and he struck. All right, calm down, Colin. Calm down. All right, we don't need you. That's a bad shot. But hold. Oh, it did. Um, we don't need you striking out right now. I may have a little little bit of a lead, but that, um, if you've watched me play this game enough, I need like a, I need an impossible lead to, to win. I always find a way <laughs> to mess up. And I feel like my opponents have a very great success rate at striking out. Oh, hurry up, Colin. Throw your shot. Throw it, Colin. Don't get the, oh no, tell me you beat the clock. Did you beat the clock? You did beat the clock. And you double. Alright. Oh, that's out the window. Hook a lot of ball. Alright, alright, I'll take the spare. Oh, get lucky! Uh. Uh. 
All right, we'll make the spare. It's okay. I've got one of those nasty feelings coming. Oh my goodness me. Oh, it is going to turkey it. He did too. <laughs> I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Oh, that's no shot. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. I've still got a little 10 pin lead. Just a little 10 pin lead coming into the ninth and 10th. Colin's made his ball change and uh, looking pretty good right now. All right, he's throwing the shot. What do we got here? Oh, it's a six split. Oh, oh, he got it right. Oh, he got it right. Just didn't quite hook up. The old high road nano didn't have enough in the in the engine to wheel back. Good little rally back. Oh, we got missed it. And I have now closed the door on Colin. He cannot win all the roto grip balls in the game, which is one of the prizes that he could have won if he beat me. The second is if he had a ball 267 and beat me, he would be the leader uh, for the real Axiom ball. So while Jeff is finishing that off and I'm going to start the next game, I'm going to go through some of the comments and say hi to you guys. See if you've got some questions, maybe I can answer them for you. I'm going to quickly, oh, well, I'm not going to throw off because I want my, want my average to go up. There we go. There's a nice little double. And let's just go a little more and get that. That finish off with the all three in the 10th, 213 to 151. All right, I'm 1-0. Let's go. Let's do it.